fun. Hey, hey guys, welcome to the Rune Sunday stream. <laughs> Main topic of today. Where is my Ev? I suspect he's probably <laughs> just bedridden with COVID. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think my mic wasn't muted before, uh, before we actually started. So you guys might have heard uh, my Ev, unfortunately, you know, still feeling a little bit sick. Um, he was supposed to be on today. He may or may not still come on, depending on if he uh, responds, if he hops on or not. We waited for him for quite a bit, um, but we're going to start without him. Um, but yeah, good morning, Dirtpoint. Hello, IQ Ballman. Welcome to the stream, guys. Um, yeah, not really too much for us to cover today. Um, kind of a quiet week. We'll probably just get uh, through with some disco news, play some Evo games, and that'll probably be it. Um, let me know if the audio is fine. Once again, my um, power dies and everything that does tend to mess things up. Everything looks good on my end now, so hopefully it stays that way. Um, but yeah, Maev has been feeling a little bit sick, so that's why he wasn't here last week. And uh, I thought he was feeling a little bit better today, but maybe he fell asleep. Maybe something came up. Um, I guess we'll see. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Disco also looking a little bit blue. <laughs> Man. Dabba dee, dabba die. That's a great song. <laughs> that is that is actually a great song. Oh my god, I love that song. And then there's like a new like new version of it by uh oh man, who was it? Yeah, I did, you know the I song did I'm hear the about? new version. I, I I do know the one you're talking about. Yeah. Not as good as the original. Not as good, yeah, not as good, but man, what was it called? It's a blue song. Not the one by Eiffel 65. Ah, I can't find it. Oh, David Guetta. I think it's David Guetta. Yeah, yeah, that's the song I was thinking ah, of. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, um... Alright, Disco. You got any news for us today? It's gonna be a pretty... Probably gonna be a pretty quick stream. I guess the, uh, the big one really was uh tether um given their audits um and uh within that uh, in their financial announcements also they said um that they are now going to invest some of their profits uh into bitcoin um and they now hold roughly 15 percent of their assets in bitcoin um which almost suggests that possibly there's a, a chance that tethers are now partly backed by bitcoin which of course isn't kind of the the narrative that they've been pushing along this entire time that remains to be seen it's quite difficult due to how opaque their books are um interestingly though uh, in order to do this and this is at the same time that they've also announced that they're no longer accepting bitcoin collateralized loans um uh, against tether uh what they've seen is the value of their crypto book fall somewhat um, but in order to fund all of this, in order to post these uh, record profits as well, they've uh, essentially did right into their cash and their cash flow it has fallen significantly. So it'll be interesting to see what their next financial returns say and how they managed to uh, pull that one off. But um, uh, again, yeah, looking str slightly strange over there. Uh, the SEC um, have been at it as well. Um, they... Uh, uh, continue to go against uh, companies Ripple recently um, in their fight against the SEC did manage to um, get quite uh, good points made across um, whereby uh, the judges did uh, in another court did actually side with them um, against the SEC so it'd be interesting to see the response on there um, but the SEC really looking quite cornered actually certainly um, a lot of the uh, American politicians um, there's a more vocal proponent against them and the, the way that they're handling um, the regulatory markets as well not providing uh, clarity 
uh, and just going after um, it through enforcement actions uh, without still providing, you know, a clear set of guidance and rules. So um, we'll have to see how this all kind of plays out. Um, yeah, that's kind of it. Relatively quiet at the moment. Um, uh, I guess Sam Bankman Freed was also named. Uh, he had a legal case filed against him by FTX um, and did uh, admit to some accounts of uh, fraud um, and other aspects as well. So that court case progresses. Um, whether or not creditors will see any funds from that still remains to be seen. The restructuring still uh, going ahead. Some uh, vocal community members still calling it out for a FTX 2.0 token and airdrop. Um, whether or not that's going to fly i'm not too sure um we'll have to see from that the other i guess uh crypto news uh quite fresh and quite key for some people is that tornado cash um uh, of course uh, banned uh with opac sanctions against it um or, or for users of it um however it did get overtaken through a governance vote um, somebody said that they were just put in through a uh, governance vote as prior uh, had passed uh, and it was almost identical except it did include uh, a couple extra lines in there which then allowed them to uh, rewrite some of the uh, voting power um, and actually uh, take ownership and full governance of Tornado Cash. Now it does uh, affect the tokens um, and the governance pools um, and some of the way the code functions does not accept some of their liquidity uh, or any of the liquidity swaps um, and they can't be controlled still due to the immutable contracts there um, however uh, somewhat frustrating I guess for community members and again just highlighting the inherent risk that does carry uh, with DAOs uh, and the way to approach them as well so uh, again one that we've always kind of uh, viewed with caution while still um, you know, really adhering to the ideology and, and wanting to kind of pursue that, um, but just taking you know a few steps at a time, due to seeing all these uh, continuous attacks on DAOs and, and people exploiting them, um, and hoping to then find a way to actually move forward in that um, openness to the community and allowing people to join in with us, but still at the same time, uh, you know, not allowing those kind of actions where they can you know very much damage a project you know in tornado cash very different use cases um but certainly from a gaming perspective if that happened you know to us in a, a gaming world where somebody took ownership of governance and was able to make the game their own um you know it's quite likely players are going to disband even if some of those choices perhaps were you know good in some of their eyes uh, the way in which that would manifest i think would be quite off-putting for a lot of people um so yeah again it's something where you know always keep an eye on and, and like to see how the scene evolves and you know have a think about what potentially could be done to uh, avoid some of these but still give that control to players and move slowly on that front and that's it for the crypto news i think what is tornado cash tornado cash is a anonymizer um so it works by uh, depositing uh, dollars or uh, yeah, usually USDC or other coins, um, Ethereum, uh, Bitcoin, into uh, a liquidity pool or into a smart contract. And you get uh, flashed on screen a uh, passphrase or, or code that allows you to then withdraw that. Um, that is then held in the smart contract until you type that code in and withdraw your funds. Now, the idea is that you deposit and withdraw to um, a different wallet, but also would allow and wait for other users to deposit and it's anonymity through volume, uh, essentially. So you've got different pools for different amounts. So there's a 10F pool or 1F pool, uh, you know, 0.5F pool and whatever they are. Um, and that then allows you to, to send those funds in at those amounts. Um, you wait for other users to send in, you know, because then they don't know uh, after 10 deposits when you make a withdrawal, which of these users it was. So that's kind of how they, they eye through. And then they usually bridge it onto other chains and stuff. So it's a way to try and trace your tracks financially, essentially. Does it work? 
Uh, does it work? It has been uh, very successful, yes, uh -huh, in okay. uh, breaking up chains. Um, the difficulty, I guess, for a lot of its users is the sheer volume of money that they have put through that. Um, and then the inherent habit of consolidating those funds following withdrawal i think that is also quite a common giveaway as well but yes it does help you hide in the crowd so so imagine right you've got a dollar bill yeah, and yeah. i've got a dollar bill and eight other people have got a dollar bill now if you just walk into the table you put a dollar bill on the table right and then you pick it up and walk away straight away it's pretty obvious that that was your dollar bill and you've just walked away with it However, if you come and put a dollar bill on and then someone else does and then someone else does and the next day you turn up in a mask and you pick up one of those dollar bills. Yes, we've seen you put a dollar bill into that table, but I don't know that you came and picked that up. Um, so you don't know who, who that money's kind of gone to and exchange hands with. Yeah, I see uh, why it's called Tornado Cash. Mm. However, there are, <laughs> you know, people who don't realize how that works and therefore use it incorrectly um which has then caught them out uh, typically scammers so so it's great that they you know do get tracked that way um but they would just deposit in and immediately withdraw out um yes to to different wallets but the timing of those transactions makes it very apparent that actually you know that's very much the same person doing that or the same attacker um and yeah and then they can be traced through that or again you know when you've got large amounts of money coming in and, and some of the amounts of money going through that have been significant, like hundreds of millions when we talked about some of the biggest hacks in like crypto, then, you know, it's quite hard to pull that sort of money out because most of the money is yours, right? It, it, when you're talking that sort of volume and in which case every withdrawal is going to be tracked. So it's not going to help you in, in that sort of sense. Um, but yeah, yeah, for for you know, I guess if you just went and put a little bit of money in there, you'd be able to withdraw it to another wallet, and you'd then be able to break that association. And it's useful for for whatever purposes. You know, if you don't want anybody to know what it is you're purchasing, maybe it's some you know waifu material, um, <laughs> you know, <What>? or you know, <laughs> you you want to to send some money to somebody else, and and you don't want somebody to know that you know that you're doing that whatever the reasons are you, you deserve the right to privacy and, and tornado, they, tornado cash does kind of offer that um and does it in a immutable way but unfortunately it is also uh opec sanctioned so if you do use it you are technically a criminal um in a lot of jurisdictions do you think it should be like that or do you do you agree with that or do you not agree with that i i don't agree with that Okay. I mean, it's <laughs> software at the end of the day, and software has already been deemed as free speech, right? Because it is just text. At the end of the day, what runs a computer, yes, it is lines of code, and they are instructions, but it is just text. Um, and if you then start saying, well, because it's an instruction, you have to ban it, then that, you know, opens up just a whole dangerous path. Um, and that, 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 you know, that's gone through uh, court cases in America and, and was a big case and and they get sided with um, the side of code so you know code is free speech and therefore shouldn't be banned um, regardless of the purposes it's used for um, you know it's not the same as a computer virus you know that's intentionally attacking somebody um, and causing damage which there are other kind of offenses for um however the ability to just allow people to put money in somewhere and take it out when they want and not have to disclose who they are as long as they've got that kind of withdrawal code i don't understand why that would be breaking the law even if somebody does decide to use it for illegal purposes Okay, so um, I guess in other crypto news, probably less important, 
I did see on Reddit right before, um, right before the stream that somebody made a post saying that MetaMask is going to hold your crypto if you haven't paid your taxes, but that doesn't sound right. So I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Um, <laughs> but I guess don't quote me on that, but I can't, I can't imagine how that would even work. So, so what happened there is it's in their terms and conditions in the UA uh, end user license agreement that yeah the the wording is uh, you know transactions through MetaMask um, are taxes and you are liable to withhold and pay your taxes so it, it's strange wording it's a weird context I don't think they've really come out and clarified that um, which they could do with what that actually means I don't know I don't understand how they could do that could they report um, transactions for tax purposes yeah potentially I think the default nodes on MetaMask uh, that the RPC is used to and, and or connected to the blockchain then you know those are run by consensus which is an American company and therefore are liable to American uh, jurisdiction and rules and probably you know would have American law enforcement interested um, and, and put in some of that data so I don't see why they wouldn't do that. Um, but whether, you know, they themselves will actually hold transactions, uh, I'm not quite sure. I think it seems like it's just been misinterpreted. That's what it feels like. Um, it almost feels like the transactions themselves are taxes and therefore you need to pay that. That That's how I kind of interpreted the wording, but I only glanced at it. I, um, didn't really have a chance to, to look at the full story. Yeah. Um, hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Um, I do see a few other posts on Reddit saying that it's not true, which is probably what I I'm going to go with. Like, I mean it just seems like like does MetaMask know who you are? <laughs> does it know how much taxes you're supposed to pay? I don't know. Well, I mean they they would potentially have your IP address for use of cookies and stuff like that. Um, so could get that association for your kind of location. Um, theory, theoretically possible. I don't know if it then you know uses any Google Ads or anything like that. Um, but could then potentially link you to to a user profile. Oh man! <laughs> and talking about security, actually, there was one other big crypto news, and and when you're talking about kind of company policies. And failure to communicate, and I guess that was a bit the announcement of Ledger Live. Um, so I saw Ledger, that Ledger too. yeah, indeed. <laughs> so, so Ledger, um, famously, you know, the hardware wallet, the for, for the security conscious, you know, everybody says, You want to look after your crypto, you get yourself a Ledger, um, you know, keep it offline, don't connect it to the internet, all good stuff, like in terms of OBSEC. But either way, you know, hardware wallet was always the way to go. And one of the big like reasons for that is that um, as far as it was believed uh, and as far as Ledger had said, you'd never be able to extract the private keys from that Ledger um, with a firmware update, with a, a software update, and therefore they were always stored securely on the device. And what then happened is Ledger came out and uh, introduced their live or recover service, uh, it was called, um, so for a monthly fee, what would happen is you could uh, send your private key, uh, you could shard it, uh, send it to three different um, safeguards, and then you could call upon two out of three of those uh, to reconstruct uh, your key and then reaccess your Ledger Live. So basically, if you lost your seed phrase, you'd be able to call up Ledger customer service and be like, look, I, I need to get back into my crypto, and they'll be able to get that private key for you. So handy potentially for those people who know they're going to lose it forget it whatever um uh and yes i guess that's almost like some sort of banking service might offer potentially um however that of course did raise some alarm bells um amongst the the community you know how on earth were they actually able to just go and extract that private key um just with a firmware update because this was supposed to be on there. So what they've come out and said is that no, it needs to be signed by Ledger. Yes, it is possible. Um, it's not actually extracting the private key. It's a version of it that then gets sharded 
um, and it'll uh, only come in if you do the firmware update. I think they actually halted the rollout of that. Um, so, yeah, very strange indeed. Um, there's a big, big PR campaign that they're now trying to push out, you know, uh, to try and correct this because obviously, rightfully, you know, people have uh, questioned it. Um, you know, trying to come out independent and say, well, like, you know, that, that's not an attack vector. It's only if these companies get hacked. And potentially, you know, those companies can also uh, be subject to the the regulations uh, and the jurisdiction of the area that they're based in, which happens to be in the US. So therefore, yes, the US government could, um, uh, as part of asset forfeiture, for example, uh, by court order, ask them to release the private keys and get into your ledger and take those funds and those companies would uh, naturally comply with that order um so yeah uh you know people are taking this as an opportunity to go to other hardware wallets um who knows what's going to happen quite, quite from here um it certainly put a big distrust uh in amongst the the crypto community um, now of course if you didn't do that you should still be okay for the time being if you haven't connected it to the internet um you know people panicking saying right you need to get it move it all out straight away i think for the time being things are still playing out and um, it's not to say that the chip can be got into um it's not to say that uh, all of this um yeah and and some you know i think Bunzi's put all of the update signatures are checked yes they are um but it uh, and that's the kind of justification in that you know it's only the ledger approved uh, update that's going to give this uh, allowance but of course it does open up that new attack vector as well um that, that it is potentially possible to then do this and, and get this sharded version of your private key so yeah um unfortunately yeah for libtech and just bought a ledger uh, if you haven't maybe hold off for now or consider another uh, brand um there has been a really cool one uh called game boy wallet um so somebody has decided to uh, actually on a game boy cartridge build a little mini game uh we walk around the, this kind of almost mini rpg uh, game boy style and the 500 steps that you take then is used to generate a seed that ensures the randomness and that then gives you a 12 word passphrase um so that you can then store that on there so you actually have a physical um you know storage that isn't internet connected because it's for the original game boy in a cartridge um it's very dumbed down version you know it is just a, a 12 word seed phrase generated for, from the valid list but um quite a cool way of uh of keeping that safe so i might buy one for the novelty they, they hopefully shouldn't be too expensive I just have to say another reason to not update anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I thought I understood this, but maybe I should ask just to get some clarification. So if you have, like, let's say you have a hardware wallet, right? Mm -hmm. and you forget the C phrase or you lose it, you're, f you're screwed basically, right? Yes. Okay, now let's say you memorize the C phrase, but then you lose the wallet. Are you screwed? <laughs> no, you're fine. Okay, so basically you the wallet... You just import that C phrase into something else. Yeah, so the wallet doesn't matter. It's only the C phrase that matters, no? Indeed. Okay, interesting. However, what you don't want to be doing is typing in your C phrase. You Your C phrase creates your wallet it's what can be uh, translated into then a public address and a private key and right. what you're then able to do with those is sign transactions and prove who you are and what you then get at, and your public key as well uh, and what you'll then have is the um those things constructed out of this 12 word phrase so what you don't want to do each time is put your 12 word phrase in to then generate these private keys, to then generate your public key, to then sign messages and, and initiate transactions. What you just want to do is just be able to prove that you have signed with your private key. And that's what the hardware wallet allows you to do. So 
rather than saying getting your actual private key out and opening the door with that what um right. what you're saying you've upgraded it to a digital uh, entry and you're not even tapping it against it you're just holding it up going look I've, I've definitely got it over here you don't need to actually come in and see it because then that way no one can snatch it off you yeah yeah, but, yeah. so it's just like metamask where you log in with a password right but then um as long as you have the seed phrase even if you forget your password you just make another one right yeah so, yeah. so so the difference there is that metamask stores your private key on the secure element of your computer but it's on your computer and your computer is connected to the internet and then it it from there exposes that private key or, or exposes the public uh key to um signs it off that way from from the chip internally but all of that happens on your computer which is connected to the internet so there's kind of a uh, an attack vector there however with the ledger because you're connecting your computer there um that to your computer what you're doing there is just kind of waving your passport and saying yeah i've got it here um and you're signing with your private key so you're not actually exposing it there you, you don't put your private key onto the computer you just show that you've kind of got it and then that approves the transaction um so you've got that extra barrier there and also for now if you then went and you know scam tokens all that kind of stuff if you then went and signed it with your ledger and then clicked on it then you screwed you that they're still going to drain your wallet gotcha gotcha so <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So, is right <laughs> is writing down your seed phrase? This is a good idea. I feel like that's like, I don't know. I I I can't think of a good way, other than to memorize it. But what if you forget? You know, like I mean, exactly. I guess it depends on how much money you have on. Like, it probably won't matter for most people. But like, if you have a lot of money, it's like, what can you do? If you write it down on a post-it note, you're screwed. If somebody finds a post-it note, if you try to memorize it, you're screwed. If you forget. <laughs> you would you would write on a note you know and then put it in a safe space yeah put it in a safe hidden <laughs> oh yeah potentially in a safe um or <laughs> you know yeah I, I don't know under your floorboards or wherever you know you know stash or whatever it is do you trust yourself to memorize it <laughs> I don't know. I think that comes down to the individual. That's it? scary. That's scary, though. It's like, man, if you just forget, I guess if you just forget one word, maybe you can like, you know, eventually, you know, guess it, right? Uh, if you can remember the first three letters, you'll yeah. Be if right. you can, yeah. If you like, you know, have an idea of what kind of like what kind of word it is, it's probably, it's probably not that bad. I mean, it's just twelve words. Realistically, it's not that hard to remember, right? Twelve words. I don't know. Well, so, so you're you're right. You know, if you really took the time to memorize it, you could. But then you probably memorize it to the point where you're like muttering it in your. Sleep. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it's never safe. No matter what you do, it's never safe. <laughs> oh man! If you remember the first letter of each word, you can crack it easily. Hmm. I mean, I guess there really isn't that many words in the world, huh? But yeah, so... Okay, so if you give five friends one-third of the phrase... How does that work? So you... Wait, wouldn't you give five friends one-fifth of the phrase? Or I guess you can't have one fifth because it's twelve words, right? Well, not not even that. the The problem you would have is that what if one of those five friends what if they die? Or oh my their god! Or... <laughs> so what you end up having is is commonly like a multi signatory. So in that case, in order to sign something, you need three out of five of those wallets to say yeah that's cool and then that will allow the transaction um see, or in this yeah. case those you would that many would uh, allow you to reconstruct your seed phrase 
Hmm. <laughs> Your friends are gonna screw you over. There's that. That does not sound safe at all, though. That doesn't sound safe at all. <laughs> Even backups. Isn't that like what they did in Harry Potter? Is that what Harry? Wasn't that like literally Harry Potter? Wasn't he like a human backup? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I was never big into Harry Potter. All right, cool, cool. So, <clears throat> my Ev looks like he's probably still not awake. Yeah, I don't think he's responded to anything yet. So, no my Ev here today. Um,. Well, at least Benzie's here, so hopefully Benzie can take care of the mod panel and everything. Um, I guess we might as well just jump on Evo now. We don't really have too much else to cover. Um, hopefully we can get some games done today. I know we missed out on that last week. Ah, oh, I clicked on the wrong thing again. Of course. Always. <laughs> Always. So I guess it's just a single panda on the pandemonium. Oh man. Uh, today. Oh no. Maybe chaos won't be here. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now I think I'm in the right game. Show up? Is it gonna show up? Come on! What? Do none of my buttons like ever want to do anything now? Nothing just wants to work. Come on! What? Oh my god! Okay, there we go. Hey. All right. Hey. Have any of you played the new Zelda game? No, I haven't. I've seen some footage from it. I've seen you can construct a skateboard. Can you really? Zelda's not really my thing, but I know that, you know, it's been pretty hyped. I see a lot of people streaming it. Seems like everyone is, has been playing it. Yeah, I always thought they were cool, but I haven't, I haven't played like the, you know, the latest ones. I still don't know why. Why is it called Zelda when it's never about Zelda? I feel like nobody Zelda's has been like able the, to the answer The princess, that. isn't she? Yeah, but I feel like she's like not even that relevant in you know the majority of the games, right? Like they call well, all of them Zelda, but like, come on. I don't know. I guess it's all about her kingdom and world and them saving her. I think. I guess, but it's like you don't call the Mario games Peach because he's like trying to save Peach, <laughs> right? Like. <laughs> I don't know. I, it's always about the girl. 
But she's not even cute though. Like, is Zelda even a waifu? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, um, I completely forgot what I was going to say about Zelda. What was I going to say? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. I only play Zelda in Smash. I actually play Zelda a lot in Smash, but outside of that, Never played any Zelda games. It's too single player <laughs> for me, I guess. Yeah, see, I, I was from the the era of uh, N64 kind of coming out, and Zelda, you know, being on there. That was big during that time, right? Yeah, yeah, massive, um, because kind oh. of the first proper 3D RPG. Wasn't it 2D back Nintendo then? Nintendo kind of brought out. What's that? Wasn't it 2D back then? Uh, on that that was on the mm. Super Nintendo, yes, and and that was good. And then yes, yeah, yes. on the N64, that's when it kind of went 3D because it's a 64-bit console that could do 3D <laughs> graphics. Okay, I remember what I was gonna say about Zelda now. Another thing about like the Zelda games I don't really understand is that like, you know, every single game is like you know Zelda and. Um, link and like maybe like i don't know ganon or whatever he always shows up or whatever but like are they the same dudes or are they not the same dudes they're not the same dudes right i think i watched a video about like the zelda timeline they're like all different dudes but like <laughs> i i don't know like zelda to that extent i don't know it's just something that like has always been confusing to me i feel like if they like made it so that they were like kind of sequels or whatever then i'll be maybe a little more into it but the fact that i think they're like all standalone type of things but with all of the same characters this has yeah. always been like a little bit uh awkward to me um i'll we'll probably wait until this game this round ends we have like two minutes left in this round before we start pandemonium See if anybody else shows up so far it's just crams uh i i am adira disco and raz one fourth car usual shift of just dying loads I don't think you've died to me yet no I don't think I have actually just to everyone else yeah usually <laughs> you always happen to run to me but I haven't gotten any kills yet I bet we're gonna get a friendly round after this think classic Marco Polo wow that's not what I expected <laughs> unfortunately it's time for pandemonium so um, uh. 
Nice to see some other game modes on there. Yeah, I, honestly, I didn't even... <laughs> I kind of forgot Marco Polo was a thing. <laughs> Guess we gotta reconnect. I don't think you mentioned food yet at all today. I did not. See, that's why that's why I was a little bit late to the meeting, because I just finished eating. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, what did you have? Uh, I just wanted to go get McDonald's. I wanted some nuggies. Uh, nice. But yeah, that's why I was running a little bit late. I, I, I feel like I've been like kind of forgetting to eat recently the past few days, but then yesterday I ate pretty early, but then I didn't eat like, I only ate one meal, right? So then I was pretty hungry when I yeah. got up today. I was like, ah, you know what? I'll just get some, uh, get some nuggies before, <laughs> for the stream so I don't go super hungry. No, I had a nice, uh, gammon roast dinner nice. uh, a couple of hours ago. And then just munch on uh, some chocolates and crisps. Chocolates, fries. Wait, is are crisps fries or are they chips? chips? Uh, I think you call them <laughs> no crisps. Wait, what? So crisps chips. are chips? <laughs> yeah, um, and chips are fries. Of course. Of course. <clears throat> uh, server's back up. Get into the it. server. Let me try again. Yeah, it might take a couple of tries. At first, they didn't let me in, and then I had to uh, press it again. Uh, no, I'm dying as soon as I get in. Is um, Battle Royale already on? Uh, I think it's just you in the server. There's a couple of other people in, I think. I don't know if it's on or not. It's as you couldn't enter. Oh, there we go. Okay, you good now? I'm in now. Okay, cool. Yeah. How am I stuck? <sighs> Man, what do you think of McFlurries? Have you ever had a McFlurry? Yeah, I do like a McFlurry. Um, uh, the other day I got the a machine McFlurry. Works. The other day I got a McFlurry and I forgot I got it. I put it like when I get home I put it in the fridge, right? So yeah. I want to get it, eat it after I finish my food, and then I forgot about it. <laughs> and then <laughs> I remembered it like you know five hours later, but I didn't put it in the freezer. I put it in the fridge, so yeah, that was pretty sad. <laughs> that was just slushy kind of frothy. Yeah, email. that was pretty yeah. sad. Yeah, I don't like it when it's like super soft, so I just threw it away. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Yeah, I do like one. I haven't had one for quite some time, I don't think. Yeah. But I'm uh, probably, probably ready to end start. up getting a few more you know, during the summer and that. McFlurries are so good. I don't know what they put in there, but it's like better than normal ice cream. It's probably just all the burger grease. <laughs> and ice cream. I, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> meaty ice cream oh man I like meat and I like ice cream but I don't know if I want my ice cream meaty <laughs> that actually sounds so gross oh, meaty <laughs> ice cream Christ oh my god what toppings do you want in your ice cream meat we can start whenever you're ready busy got people in here already Okay, so here's another question for you guys. Ice cream, like in the summer when it's like super hot or ice cream in the winter when it's cold? I mean, I, I like ice cream all year round, but I do prefer it in the winter when it's cold because like it doesn't winter. melt. Okay, see, that's that's exactly that's what I was saying, right? But then some people are like ice cream in the summer. But I was like, but then it just gets melted. 
You know? But it is nice because it does cool you down. So yeah, I, yeah, I, I but like then you're eating you know, ice, ice cream, cream all year like... round, really. <laughs> it's good eating. I like. Okay, when it's in the winter, I like getting like uh, either hot chocolate or hot cocoa or like coffee or whatever, because like you know when you don't want like I don't know maybe it's just me but I don't like my coffee super hot. I like it to be like pretty hot still, but not like like super hot where it's like annoying to drink, right? Yeah. So in the winter, it's perfect because you know it heats up your hands. You can hold it. You know, I remember when I used to uh, like in high school. Sometimes I would walk to school. I was, and you know it's really nice to hold while you're walking on a cold day <laughs> and then it becomes like the perfect temperature to drink after a little bit um yeah oh we started but yeah i can't say the same about ice cream because ice cream like you know the perfect temperature is when it's at its coldest you can't have ice cream that's too cold can you uh oh no Yes, if you can. <laughs> you can? I, I was going to say it depends, but no. So I was going to say it depends if it's an ice pot where you don't want it too cold because then you, your tongue gets stuck to it um, and you can't lick it. But then actually, you know, softer ice creams as well, if they get too cold, then you just can't you know, you bite into them. Um, and That's why you use the horrible. fork. We've been over this. That's why you use the fork. What? No, if you've got like an ice cream cone... Like let you know, you know, not let people flake away, but it's too cold, and and it would just be like solid, wouldn't it? Oh, he finally he... died. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't. To be honest, I don't. I don't like the ice cream cones. I feel like for me, ice cream has to be in a um, forkable format. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody understands. Forks are. The optimal utensil to eat ice cream with. Actually, nobody understands. What, what about an ice cream sandwich? Like, I don't know, oh, an ice okay. cream cookie. I don't mind ice cream sandwiches. That oh, what is going on? Oh my god. Ah. Ah. What the? F is this stream still alive? My computer appears to be killing itself. Hello? Can yeah. you hear me? Can you hear me, Disco? I can hear you. Yeah. Mm, interesting. Okay, my game might be bugged. Uh, yeah, mine's gone like that too. Interesting. Wait, maybe it's a server thing then? A, I might have to restart. Maybe it's a player touch or something equals 10. Yeah, I, I, I literally have one frame every like four seconds. <laughs> right now. I have 0 0.25 frames per second. Oh boy. Um, If I restart, am I going to be able to get back in? Uh... How many dragons do we have alive? It's a... uh, oh, yeah, there my was ping just one. is 4.6k. Uh, Friends' just... ping is 8.5k. Yeah. Oh, we're back. We've got Crams and Sassy. Okay, yeah. I guess we count them both as winners for this round, because yeah, I think yeah, I something, think something happened. Franz and Sassy Boy, I'll put that down as the winners for the first round. Oh, uh, we've got I'm a deer as well. Did they uh, just come in. Yeah, I think he just spawned in. Oh, okay, there we go. Looks like we're back to normal. Water. That's a new name. <laughs> ah. Blinking, yeah. Is your game running fine, Disco? I don't know, I just killed it, you. Ah, uh, it was until you killed me. <laughs> yeah, it was until I killed you, uh, actually. Ah. <laughs> ah. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, looks like maybe there's some uh, server issues going on right now. <laughs> I 
I, I do want some ice cream now. Oh man, am I going back to McDonald's to get a McFlurry? <laughs> I gotta resist the temptation. I'm kind of surprised Maev, like, you know, isn't here yet. I thought he was gonna show up during the stream, during, like, midstream. <laughs> like, sorry guys, I... <laughs> <laughs> sorry guys, I forgot to set an alarm. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, but I thought that one alarm that, like, always goes on during the stream, I thought that was gonna wake him up, but... <laughs> but, uh... Um, you have to be on the stream for 10 minutes. Every 10 minutes you will get, uh, every 10 minutes you'll get some Twitch shards, but it has to be the full, like, 10 minutes, you know? <clears throat> like, it's gonna have to, like, you know what I mean? Like, okay, there we go. We're back in. Oh, my other thing he had to attend to? I see. So I guess he didn't oversleep after all. But it'll be, um, yeah, me miss it next weekend. So hopefully, my doesn't oversleep for that one. He might. Maybe it'll just be me next week. <laughs> That'll be fun. That makes me miss, uh, miss Infinite, you know? Doing some Infinite streams, good times. You already watched one hour? Is it a bug? Hmm. Potentially. Make sure you do have, uh, the chat open. I think the way that the points works is that it's not actually about watching the stream. If you want to, if, if you want to, no, like you you actually don't even I I'm pretty sure you don't even have to have the stream open. You just have to have the chat open. So that's the important thing. If you want the points, you gotta have the chat open. The stream actually doesn't matter. Um but I'm pretty sure it should be working. If you don't have any points, I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Um it could be that maybe you you joined and then left before ten minutes and maybe you came back. You might have to be there for like a full 10 minutes. <laughs> I can't give you, if I give you points, everybody's going to want points, you know? Where's everyone? How do I not see anybody? Are you in here, Disco? Is my game bug? No, no, there's somebody. I'm just grabbing a drink quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where is everyone? Is everyone just sitting on the top? No way, right? Oh my god, they're, <laughs> they're actually just <laughs> sitting at the top. <laughs> Dude, you guys. Yo, Potter is like fucking me up. My HP bar went empty. Alright, sassy boy. <laughs> I guess that's the secret, huh? You guys just hide in the top left corner? Is that what it is? <laughs> Do I need to start checking the corners? <laughs> oh man, I guess it's smart because like with the way that the mini map is laid out, like the, the top left is kind of cut off, right? So it's kind of hard to see. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, we started again. Disco Monk missed it again. <laughs> He's probably getting his McFlurry right now. Oh, now you're hiding in the bottom right. <laughs> this is actually turning more into hide and seek, huh? Nobody's in the top left corner this time. All right, who's it? Who is it? Who's hiding? Where are you? Sassy boy. So I actually learned Chaos the Strat of just hiding from me. I swear, I went around the entire map, but I did not see him at all. This goes back. Oh no, this goes muted again. Oh no, not this again. How? Did you break your mic again, Disco? I don't hear anything. <laughs> this guy's literally the opposite of hiding. <laughs> Just runs into me at the very beginning. Anybody here? Oh. <laughs> you can't hide up there anymore. I know your secrets. I just don't know Sassy Boy's secrets. I don't know where Sassy Boy is hiding. Oh, there he is. Hello, can you hear me now? There, we can hear you, yes. Welcome back. Oh. How'd you fix it? Uh, I just restarted the browser. I think it's because my That's headphones sad. run out of battery. Uh. Um, so when I plugged them in, maybe it just didn't like it. Did you get a McFlurry? All right. All right. I think that's probably going to be the last round of uh, Pandemonium for today. We did have two winners on the first round, so we're up to five already. Um. <laughs> It is pretty interesting how, huh? yeah, this this pandemonium turned basically into hide and seek. Just whoever can hide <laughs> from me better. Um, but yeah, all right. Uh, I guess this is a part of the stream where we gotta decide what are we crafting. Usually this is where I ask my Ev, but unfortunately my Ev is not here, so um, I guess, I guess that's uh, what you're deciding. Well, it's not going to be a soul cord. Uh, I guess we could do a potentially a windfall.
windfall how does windfall sound boys i'm gonna have to check if we have run through that though bunch of ist do we have a bunch of ist um we are gonna need more ist if we're gonna do windfall uh i mean i'll take a, a flare Flare. Flare, flare, flare. Well, I guess we're gonna need more Zod for flare, so either either way, I think. You're gonna, gonna need more yeah. Zod for anything then, aren't we? Yeah, true, yeah. Good thing Vincy's here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, so Binzi's just uh, up the stakes on the draw as well. Um, offering to throw in one of their epics to the winner as well. So we, you, you get, the winner of this uh, round is going to get not just the best panda craft, but also uh, an epic from Binzi. So exciting stuff. You know, it almost makes me wonder. Maybe the audio issues we were having before was because your 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 headset was like out of power. It was still on orange at the time. Yeah, but right now, not only yep. do you sound, I feel like not only do you sound more clear, you're also, I think, louder than you were before. Maybe. I'm not sure. Oh wow, so the winner gets a, a choice of epic from Binzi as well. Ooh. This is a choice of Reeve, Ignition, Hellfire, or Elder. <laughs> I like how third point still has no points. Alright, I'll give I'll give everybody a few points. Uh what is the thing? Oh, that didn't work. What? An error occurred while fetching the chatters list? What? Okay, there we go. There we go. That worked. So now, there we go. Everybody has at least a, uh, at least 100 points. It's good. Everyone's got a shot at uh, one of Binzi's epics. <laughs> and the Panda Craft, of course. Uh, are we doing Ignition? Or Flare? We can what, do what that. Uh, we, we can do... Yeah, I don't mind. Oh, we can't do Ignition? Wait. Ignition's no. gone, right? <laughs> it is. We can <laughs> do Flare. Flare, Flare, Flare. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there you go, boys. Five engines so far. <laughs> <laughs> Have you not sent the mythics out yet? Um. Well, you have to probably have to ask my Ev that. 
Um, I guess that there is the potential that maybe he has not sent the things out for the past couple of weeks. Oh, that is true. <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> Might be last week's quiz prizes and this week's possibly as well. We got six people entered in so far. It is interesting how like everybody entered with a very uniform amount of tickets, huh? <laughs> Except for Disco. Disco really wants it. <laughs> I I just went for round down. So I had two thousand seven hundred. So I was like, right, well I'll do the seven hundred to get it down to like two thousand. Uh, so I normally play this. But then Sod's Law will say I probably won't get it because I've got the biggest share. Or if I do, I'll be the first one drawn on the wheel and get the worst craft anyway. Look, now you started a bidding war for the tickets. <laughs> everyone, everyone started to up there, aren't you? Yeah, so I guess, you know, when people see that more than five people have entered, now you actually have to play the odds. <laughs> it's no longer just guaranteed for everybody. There we go. People are entering with a lot more tickets now. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh man, look at Sassy Boy. He really wants it now. I mean, look, it's a guaranteed epic, to be fair. True, true. Well, I mean, you still gotta roll high on the wheel, right? You still gotta. You do. You still gotta get lucky. But Sassy, you know, he does already have quite a bit of entries just from uh, Pandemonium. I guess, yeah, Sassy's just really playing the odds on this one. how long are we keeping this open for is it going up to the five minutes uh sure we can close it at five minutes 906 tickets in oh man <laughs> it jumped up a bit from that uh 10 tickets each didn't it <laughs> it really it really did i saw you entered with some more as well i did i went up to around 100 which means my ticket count is now uh, <laughs> odd or my points count is odd <laughs> Oh wait, we're over five minutes. All right, all right, time to close it. Let's see. Let's see who gets lucky. Oh, sassy boy sneaking one in. <laughs> you made it at the very end. So many tickets though, sassy. Sassy going in heavy. What if he doesn't get picked? <laughs> oh. Oh. Wait, the button didn't do anything. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, Sassy Boy did. Oh, well, 38% chance. Yeah, 38%. I, th I think you would have hoped that he was going to get get one on that. All right, so for Epen, Sassy Boy, Hotaru, 
Burkai is nice. Last one. And the button doesn't seem like it's working. Oh, there we go. We got Disco Ooh, 1988. Oh, man. In. Clutch coming in at the very end. JJ and eight. All right. Let's spin. So how many entries has Sassy Boy got now? Because, like you say, he got picked up a few from Pandemonium. Got himself on the wheel just then. He has uh, four entries in total. He's got four Epin, Sassy Boy, Hotaru, Murkai is nice, Disco Monk 1988, Cram, Sassy Boy, Sass Boy, and Ra one fourth Scar. <laughs> All right, here we go. Just looking at the the wheel there, is Sassy the only player um, who's actually on there multiple times? I think so, yeah. So he has a quite... Ah, see, I told you. Told you, uh... I'd, I'd get picked out first, you know. Was close, yeah. That last one. This one a bit more clear cut. <laughs> oh man, all four sassies still on the board. Wow. Do any of you use a uh, Brave browser? Uh, do you know what? I don't. I keep meaning to <laughs> download it and get around to it, and I just never have. I just wonder... And I think, I think now with you know Microsoft Edge browser having uh, Bing and ChatGPT for integration, and then with Google now, you know, just being synonymous anyway with Chrome browser, but also. Um, introducing Bard uh, I think it's just going to be harder and harder to pull away from those uh, and their offerings but can first you... start, Sassy's been drawn on there but can you imagine anybody actually using Microsoft Edge? I don't know I have started using it really? Uh, purely for um, for ChatGPT yeah, wow. through Microsoft Bing but also, um, you know, I use it at work. So for corporate wise, it's quite, you know, it comes part of the Microsoft package if you sign up on all the business stuff and whatnot. All right, for Epen, how much, how much have you, have you actually gotten paid from your Brave ads? Because <laughs> I feel like the ads are kind of annoying. And I, I can't imagine they pay more than like, maybe like a few cents every like month. So I can't imagine it's actually worth it, but, but yeah, ooh, looks like four even take seconds and all of the additional entries that Sassy Boy has paid off. How many did does take the first spot? Did need all of those additional entries in the yeah, end. Yeah, he really did. Um, Came down to the last one. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's do some flare. Oh, 
Okay, I think before we craft, we're gonna have to. We'll have to. We'll have to make a decision. Okay. So. Are we gonna make it so that the highest entry is going to get Lindsay's epic? Are you epic? complicate this, Panda? What? Are you trying to complicate this? Well, it's just because what if, what if, what if, I, we what if the we same pull something what, that's better? But we just <laughs> do the same as what we always do, and then we throw an extra epic on top. Right, so... To the winner. So does the epic keep, go Keep to it simple. The... Keep it simple. Okay, okay, okay. All right. We're, you know how how accident-prone we are okay, for okay. technology. Um, okay, so what you're saying is we could throw an extra epic to the first place. I think that, that that's right. what it was from the start, yeah. Okay, okay gotcha. Because gotcha, we, gotcha. we were just doing it all like we normally do, and then Binzi said that they'll also throw the winner. Okay, gotcha. Sounds good. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Pants, pants, pants. We hate pants here. Highest being at eighty percent. Ouch. Yeah. No, what? What? Uh, was it? I get in tenth place. <laughs> I mean, I, I can see it's blue. It's very, very uh, 60%. blue. Sixty <laughs> percent. Very blue. Yeah. <laughs> very blue. But hey, I'm probably not the person to be uh, crafting pants. Definitely not a fan of pants. Leggings. <laughs> yeah, I get le leggings. I don't think get anyone's style, are they? To be Unless fair, you like, live in the Middle Ages or something. I've never worn leggings before, so... No. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I, when I lived in Finland, they had like, long johns, which are... I guess they're more like... Almost like tights, aren't they? But like thicker and... Like underwear. They're called long johns. Long, yeah. It's just like <laughs> long underwear. So a, mi a mix between like your underpants, what? as you call them. Yeah, yeah. They they'd be like a mix between like your underpants, whatever, and tights. So do you do you wear them as pants or just, do you wear them as underwear? <laughs> you wear them as underwear and then you wear like trousers over the top. Because bearing in mind it'd be like really really cold. So you I need see, like long see, loads see. of layers and stuff like that to keep warm. <laughs> I see. Yeah, I live in Houston. Uh I'm not familiar with that over here. Yeah, well, don't get it over in England. Uh that was over in Finland. Because uh, it does get very cold and snowy. Some parts and that. Okay, cool. Well, <clears throat> congratulations, Sassy Boy. Um still getting your choice of epic. Um I guess you'll have to probably uh, either talk to Benzi or my Ev about that whenever my Ev does get back and um if I think Benz Benzi has uh asked on the chat here if Sassy's got any thoughts. Um but yeah drop drop Benzi a message if um you don't get a chance to let him know on here. Yeah and if we still need to send in some of the items from uh, previous weeks um uh, I guess please do bear with us. My Ev has been sick, but I'm sure he'll get to that whenever he can. Um, but with that, I guess we're out of here. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks See you guys all. all next week. Good night.